Welcome everyone to the 2012 winter meeting. Um, I've been involved in the fantasy game industry about 15 years now, since my early, my early days at Sporting News back in 1996. I want to start off by thanking many in this room um, that have helped build this industry over the years. Charlie, Charlie Wiegert, uh, Rick Wolf, Greg Ambrosius, Peter Shanky, I don't know if he's in here yet, um, and countless others. You've done an enormous uh, favor to the entire industry to grow it and make it what it is today. I'm appreciative of that. On the personal side, I've been playing fantasy sports, like many of you, um, for, for a long time. Uh, for me, there's one league, I think like most of you, one league that, that uh, I pay the closest attention to. Um, 1989, the Pilgrim Street Fantasy Baseball League was founded at the University of Toledo by my brother-in-law. He invited me, I was still in high school, invited me into the league. Um, we ripped off, word for word, the, uh, the Constitution from Glenn Wagner's uh, third edition. Roto Guide to Baseball, and uh, for the most part, our rules haven't changed in those 22 years. We're still 4x4, AL only, auction draft. Uh, the only thing we've done is we moved the, uh, the in-person draft every year. We moved it to spring training, which you do, I guess, as you get older. Uh, but other than that, it's stayed pretty much the same. A little confession for you, um, which I need to make just to, uh, to make my point. In those 22 years of the Pilgrim League, I have never won the Pilgrim Cup. 22 years. I've played passionately. I've tried really hard. I think I'm pretty good at fantasy baseball, but I've never won the cup. Um, six times I finished in second place. Three times, three times I've lost in the final hour of the season. Uh, the most memorable being, memorable being September 30th, 2007. If anybody remembers this exact occasion, I'll be impressed. But September 30th, 2007, Felix Hernandez pitched eight and two thirds. Meaningless game for the Mariners. It was an NFL Sunday. Nobody else was watching baseball in our office except me. Um, one out away from my cup, I finally was going to get, and Hargrove made the call to the bullpen. J.J. Poots came in. Actually, Jeff Reese might remember this. <laughs> J.J. Poots came in for a one-out save. It meant 40 saves for J.J., and it meant that I didn't get the cup because I got passed with that one save on the final out of the season. So it's amazing, 162-game season. Seven months, hundreds of transactions. You could spend all that time and still not win on the final out of the season. I spent an enormous amount of time in the league with, with really nothing to show for it. And, uh, but, but over the years, I've watched the industry change. We've moved our fantasy game platform from USA Stats. Actually, Stato Magic, I think, was first. USA Stats, finally landing on CBSSports.com. On the content and tool side, Starting out like many of you with, with USA Today and Baseball Weekly, waiting and anxiously for, for John Hunt's um, dollar values to come out. And then over time, Roto News, which became Roto Wire, to uh, Roto Times, Roto World. Uh, the last probably five years, uh, Baseball HQ has been my, my product of choice, using Baseball HQ to, to try to get my edge. You know, every year at the draft, you look around and try to figure out what everyone else is using, keeping your own your own tools a secret, um, just anything for an edge. And, and uh, Baseball HQ has been my, my product of choice, but I still, still haven't won that cup. And that's not a knock on Ron at all, by the way. Uh, my routines with Baseball, Baseball HQ have been um, borderline sick. I literally will take, beyond reading every day, I will take the projections almost weekly, dump them into Excel. I'll dump the CBSSports.com year-to-date stats and into Excel, I'll mash them all together and try to project what's going to happen over the remainder of the year. And I'll literally have to update the rosters manually each time I do that. I'll, I'll play around with different scenarios to see how they could affect the rest of the year. Just pay an enormous amount of time on it um, and you know, seeing obvious holes in doing that. So you know, it brings us back to, uh, to business. Middle of 2010, we were sitting around at CBS trying to figure out, all right, Fantasy's been growing over the years nicely, but what's the next, what's the next big opportunity? Um, the way people have ch played fantasy sports hasn't changed that significantly at all. The games are pretty much the same, but the two things that have changed are we've had an enormous number of, of new tools and content sites launch over the years, so it's spread out, the industry spread out across the web. And then second, we've seen a lot of new devices and platforms roll out. Um, but the result is a landscape that you know is extremely fragmented. 
and it really does a disservice to the customer we're catering to the most, the hardcore fantasy sports player. We wanted to find a way to make fantasy sports fans' lives easier, at the same time accelerating the business to the entire ecosystem. We shopped around and looked at buying a few small fantasy companies, ultimately deciding that it would be one difficult to, to make the acquisition and or it would be hard for, to keep that magic inside of a, a big company. And ultimately what we landed on was we already had the two things that are so hard to find in the online media industry. We had scaled audience, we had millions of people, and we had a direct billing relationship with many of them. So the question we asked was, why not rebuild our platform from the ground up, soup to nuts, every element of code, and open it up to third party developers? Why not give other companies direct access to our users, to our leagues, and to that billing relationship? So that's the announcement we made earlier this morning. I've got a quick reel. You should, because this is big, and you can be a part of it. This is your opportunity to do more than just build great apps, sell them, and get paid. It's your chance to allow millions of fantasy players to discover your apps, and use them to elevate their game, gain a competitive edge, and win. Be part of something revolutionary. Evolution. Your apps, our platform, it's fantasy evolved. Um, so that's the announcement. And we also announced there'll be six partners um, that we have at launch. We, we kept this completely under wraps, as you can imagine, for, for almost two years that it took to rebuild the platform. And uh, just in the last few months, we brought in a handful of partners to showcase kind of the capabilities of the platform. So those partners are MLB.com. They'll take their award-winning MLB TV service and create a personalized video stream. So you literally will be able to have the video player auto-tuned to whatever game is most important to you. And so it'll go from your at-bats to your opponent's at-bats to maybe a guy on base where you've got the pitcher on the mound. It's essentially a red zone for individualized for you for fantasy sports. We're super excited about that one. Um, Bloomberg will take their front office application and, and integrate it into our product suite along with Several other apps, uh, Ziguana, I think one best, maybe best new company last year at this conference, um, is building several cool apps. I'm excited about their autopilot, which will, for, especially for daily transaction leagues, the ability to turn your league on autopilot and have it managed for you while you're away. Um, advanced sports media with their draft analyzer tool, uh, Roto, Roto News with their, their award winning fantasy content, and then Statsheet is doing a smack talking kind of service. So, but those are the first six partners. What really matters to everyone in this room is we announced this this morning. It's completely open now. And any company, any developer, any individual with a good idea for fantasy sports fans can go build directly into our platform. So let me be clear about this right from the outset. Um, we know this is a great thing for CBSSports.com. We think it is. And we think it's a great thing for our users, but only because it's a great thing for everyone in this room, for the entire the entire fantasy sports industry. It's time the industry catch up to what we've seen in other markets. We've seen this with, with finance to, to mobile and Apple to Facebook and social networking. We've seen this recently with music, with Spotify. Anytime that a platform has opened up to third parties and let companies come in and build directly on their platform, there's been explosive growth. And that growth has been incredible for, most importantly, for the fantasy sports audience, for the consumers that matter the most. Opening up the CBSSports.com fantasy platform benefits the entire ecosystem, the users, the developers, and the advertisers. CBSSports.com has a service with millions of paying fantasy customers, highly engaged, and allowing companies and developers to build directly into the platform should be the first step in a truly transformative process for the entire industry. The first step is obviously there's many companies and many products in the room that to us makes sense to, to build and personalize directly in the platform. But the thing that has me more excited than anything is the things that we can't imagine right now. The, uh, everybody knows the story of when Facebook launched, they didn't know that apps would take off the way they did. They didn't know there'd be a Farmville. And with Apple, apps weren't part of the core launch of iOS, but they took off and it clearly have been the, the game changer. So that's what has us excited. What, what are the ideas? And we've seen some of those already brew 
as we've been building this and we've had to stay away from them because the platform was what we were set out and charged to build. But that's the part that's most exciting is what are the ideas that we'll, we'll come up with in the next, next few years. I'm sure you saw our booth as you came in, but I encourage you all to, to drop by, introduce yourself to some of our developers. And uh, I thank you for having me. And I look forward to a very exciting fantasy sports year. Thank you.